Thermal paste, yes, it doesn't make for a very interesting unboxing, but thermal paste is important. Without thermal paste, your system just plain wouldn't work. And uh, Arctic Cooling makes some of the best thermal paste on the market. Their MX-1 turned the entire thermal paste market, which is, I mean, it's small, but turned the entire thermal paste market on its ear because it was the best performing one out there and it was a non-metallic compound. So previously, the, uh, the, the best regarded thermal paste out there was Arctic Silver 5. I mean, there were some more exotic things, but uh, it was generally acknowledged that without metal content, a thermal paste couldn't be a top performer. Like I said, MX-1 turned that all around, and this is the fourth iteration of their MX series of thermal compounds. Uh, MX-1 had some disadvantages. Uh, one was that it was extremely thick. It was very hard to spread, uh, which made it kind of inconvenient to apply, and MX-2 addressed that. So Arctic Cooling keeps taking their product, which has consistently been a top performer in the marketplace, and improving it. So MX-4 right here, features a syringe with a cap. Oh, look at that high technology. And, and viewing holes. So you can see how much MX4 is left in the syringe without any difficulty. Okay, so incredibly, they don't compare MX4 to their previous generation MX3, although they do compare it against a bunch of other products on the market. Lower is obviously better for cooling, and they show it against uh, Perlimatec PK1, Gelid GC2, Collabor Cool Laboratory Liquid Ultra. That was one of those exotic solutions that used to be quite well regarded. Okay, it is a non-metallic thermal compound, which means it is non-conductive, non-capacitive, even if you get it all over your stuff, which is still not recommended because it's a total mess to clean up. Uh, it will not ruin anything. Unmatched performance, so they're saying it is the highest performance formula available. Durability, it is non-curing and non-bleeding, which means it does not need to be replaced for up to eight years. And if your system's actually eight years old and you haven't done anything with it, well, it's probably time to you know think about doing something different anyway. That's another disadvantage of older thermal compounds was that they needed to repla be replaced every couple of years, or they would actually dry up, or they would um, and not be usable anymore. Non-curing also means that it doesn't have uh, a period where it's not fully functional yet. Like I said, some of the older thermal compounds did have disadvantages. One of them was that they wouldn't be a hundred percent. Uh, of their total performance until they had been through a couple of heating up and cooling down cycles. So MX-1 and any of the later generation MX products do not have that disadvantage. So it's recommended for CPU, GPU, and any power semiconductor components. So basically anything that produces heat and has a heat sink, you want to put this between it. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos, including thermal compound unboxing videos.